Hello, Sniper supporters, and welcome back to Sniper Killer. Your target is an ex-KGB spy we have been hunting for the past five years. He's reported to be in the area. And we are at some kind of industrial park, playing evidently as the Sniper Killer now. He's been eluding prosecution and going into hiding within the city. Take him out. Intel states that he is asleep in an alleyway behind the factory. However, to not cause internal complications with other agencies around the world, we need to make this look like an accident. Gotcha. We can't give those commie bastards a reason to retaliate against us in other ways. Well, you must make your main target look like an accident. Any person getting in your way may be eliminated how you see fit. That is how important this mission is. This is for the greater good. All right. Oh, and one last thing, Agent. We had our contact leave something for you. Open the box in front of you. Okay. Ooh. All right, we've got a suppressor. Nice, so I got my first achievement in the game by just simply doing that. I personally think that might be a good way to make an accident happen. We'll have to see about that. Yeah, very hard to see right now. And I don't have the ability to jump or anything. Alright. There has to be something. Like this. I mean, this was my plan earlier. I don't know if this is gonna... Alright, it's just gonna give me the way up. Alright. Hey, amigo. Great, crackhead. Nice shot. And he did see. Well, I could just break his neck. I mean, I was sort of hoping to shoot him. There is a uh, achievement for killing somebody without using the scope, so I was hoping to uh, do that right there. And I do mean you have to still shoot him, not just break his neck like that guy's. So, unfortunately, I've still got to find uh, somebody to shoot. But, I mean... This guy's dead. He's looking at the ground now. I do like that it sort of has some linear pathing. Damn, headquarters didn't say anything about this area being guarded. There's no way I can get to the door without being spotted. I'm going to have to take them out. The mission is too important to risk being seen. Looks like there's an alarm panel on that wall. I'll need to be careful and make sure to eliminate them one by one without others noticing. Oh, great. So how many do we have? We have two. Yeah, this is going to be a hard one. I don't think I want to mess with trying to do the shots in some flashy way.
There we go. Oh, there was the third person. All right. If he was just going to stand there, I was going to try to line up the shot without uh, zooming in. Well, having it zoomed in, then just taking a shot. But, again, I didn't want to mess this one up. Maybe I'll wait for a more unsuspecting victim. Alright. Doesn't seem like there's anything down here worth anything. Just some dead bodies. Three really nice headshots, though. Feel better. Missed the one shot in the last episode. Was deeply disturbed by that, so... Sort of glad that I'm back to my proper aim. There is an, also a uh, achievement for getting three headshots. Yeah, not sure what that's about, but I'm going to head this way. Or not three headshots, uh, ten headshots, I mean. Amanda. Evidently somebody likes Amanda. Wonder if that's who I'm supposed to take out. What an easy shot. Too bad headquarters said I had to make it look like an accident. How can I do that? Oh, that's an easy one. That works. Alright, so the KGB spy was killed. Took me five shots. That worked out pretty easy. Alright, now we're here as the detective. Three security guards all in the same night. This is getting more out of hand than I could imagine. I like how his brains are sticking out of the bag. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Three security guards, all shot dead. This sniper's getting bolder by the night, partner. Yeah, it looks like it. I'm not liking where all this is heading. Can you give me a rundown of the scene? Well, we just pulled these three newly deads out of the factory. Looks like the killer snuck in through a side entrance, but there's so much shit over there, we had to pull the ambulance around to this side. We've already scrubbed the inside for clues and turned up emptier than an asshole two hours after burrito night. <laughs> Not sure what else you could look for around here. Anything else I should know about? Hey, unrelated, but around the corner there, it seems some bum had a barrel of flames fall over on him. Burnt as bad as the toast my wife makes for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Huh. Hell of a coincidence, wouldn't you say? Hey, you're the man in charge. Officer Chris is wrapping that scene up. Just head down that alley to the right. He's behind the factory. Okay. I think I'll do just that. <gasps> what in the world? Jesus Christ. Help! Help! Sir, did you see who did this to you? Yes! Yes! Saw him! What did he look like? Please, tell us. No face! Now, now it's just a blur! God damn it. I'm like, that was a headshot. Do I need to start double tapping my guys? Uh, of course shit hits the fan two weeks away from my retirement. Oh, I hope I don't have to shoot him. Hang in there, buddy. I mean, 
Seems like a nice enough guy overall. Wanted to be able to retire. Um. All right then. Yeah. Uh, I have a feeling that might be a suspicious situation over there. Maybe that's headquarters. Crispy. Damn thing won't light. <laughs> Are you serious? What? You don't mind? I'm going to assume you didn't look around the area for any evidence. Evidence of what? Any two-bit sleuth can tell the guy burnt to death when this barrel fell over. Getting real tired of your shit. Watch it, or you'll piss me off one day. Well, the scene is all yours. Help yourself and look around. Don't catch a cold now. I mean, since I know what I'm looking for, it shouldn't be that hard. Pretty unfortunate for one of these to just happen to roll over. Maybe I'm just overthinking things. Oh, I was supposed to shoot the actual sign instead of the... Well, I think my shot was better than this. Uh, but I can't inspect it, it seems. this late? Maybe the owner saw or heard something. Oh, this is definitely interesting. <laughs> Looks like people make some sort of offerings here. Don't know why some lines are not voiced and others are. It's an old, dull, rusty butcher's knife. Air freshener. Maybe there's some kind of ritualistic significance. Or maybe whoever owns this place is five cans short of a six pack. Just an old metal lockbox. I'm not superstitious, but I feel like there's a great power emanating from this board. <laughs> old tombstones. For sale, I guess? Wonder if there are any buy to get one free deals. And that's a valid question. Uh, I would buy them then. It's a good deal. Well-known macabre painting. Uh, not one of the more famous ones, I'd say, but whatever. Jar with something preserved inside. All right, all the jars are the same. Yep. Bottle of brown liquid. It stinks. Hopefully, no one's home. An old radio. Sounds like it's having some interference problems. It's a sealed envelope from Peepaw. Oh, I remember a game with a Peepaw in it. I want to say that was the Womb Ripper one, which I think was mentioned earlier. Looks like it's for recording sales. This joint actually gets customers. Alright, well, let's ring the bell then. Anyone home? Hmm. Some service. Books. Bunch of books. All of them had to do with the occult in some way or other. Chair. Nice chair. I can appreciate a fine chair. Another famous painting. I did not notice this coffin when I came in. Did I just miss it or what? Yeah, I figured as much. What the hell were you doing in there? 
My apologies. Was on my ten. Hell of a spot to take a break. No place better to heal yourself think than inside a coffin. Right. Quite a place you've got here. Luckily for you, I'm not with the city board. I'm Detective Comardy. Pleased to meet you, Detective Comardy. They call me Magic Man Mon. Did you know that just 20 feet outside your door, a man was burnt to death? Ah, I thought the alleyway smelled of something cooking. <laughs> Surely you must have seen something. Anything weird. Well, whatever would be considered weird around a place like this. I'm sorry to say that I don't see much of anything these days, Detective. Oh, uh, sorry. If you don't mind me being so blunt, you seem to get around well for a blind guy. The spirits guide me along the path I should be traversing. I see. Well, this was all very productive and helpful. I guess I'll just fuck right off then. <laughs> It's of Haitian origin, I think. Voodoo, maybe? Alright. Well, let's go ahead and get out here. Detective? Oh. You might want to comb over your barbecue scene one more time. You should be keeping an eye out for the sign. Sign? What kind of sign am I looking for? The sign, Detective. Alright, so now I'll be able to see the bullet hole in the sign. Well, that was a bit odd. <laughs> Jump scare was definitely predictable, but you know what? It did get me still. I'm always the one to get surprised by jump scares. That's why I sort of liked the uh, Dalmare game there, because it really didn't have jump scares to be exact. Looks like this fell off the building. Yep. Guess that's what knocked the barrel over. Hey, wait a minute. Is that a bullet hole? Well, yes, because they put it there instead of up where I shot it lovely in the uh, the pole holding the sign. Could our sniper have done this too? And if he did, why try and make it look like an accident after massacring those guards? Maybe I can find where he posted up to take the shot and get my hands on some more clues. Because none of this is making any sense. All right, well, the good news is I know where he posted up, so I can make this go a bit faster. I am interested about those people in this alleyway over here. I would like to really talk to them. All right, so it sort of helps me find what I need, even though I didn't need the help. This is not Fuck, the right someone's level. in here. It's gotta be him. Oh. Alright then. I can also do the breathing trick with this guy. Oh, all right. The grate was no longer on the ground over there. Very interesting. You can probably hear in the background that my puppy is enjoying playing with her bone. So, I do apologize for the noises. They are not coming from the game, but they are there. And a little bit distracting, I might add. Okay. We're going to go through this place one room at a time. 
Because this is all new to me. TS7 STK. Alright, I can't do anything about that. I wonder if I can squeeze off around from the side here or if I have to be aiming down there. Behind you. Oh, I don't like that at all. Um, not cool. I'm going to go inspect down here first. Alright, somebody's definitely messing with me. Ha ah, ah, ha, got you. Right, this is not the sniper's sort of M.O. He doesn't really do this. And I still have suspicions that I am the sniper. So, yeah. May mean that there's an actual threat going on here. What in the world? Okay, I'm starting to wonder if I should shoot these guys. Just had to try and see if I could shoot from that angle. That seemed as good of a target to shoot at as any. Alright, to Narnia is over there. I guess we're going to Narnia. Because I don't believe I can uh, shoot my way back through there. Oh, that did make an interesting sound though. And a hole in it. Okay, definitely need to aim because yeah, that doesn't work too well. I probably didn't even shoot this one. Oh. Um. Am I going to jail now? <laughs> well, if we're going to jail. I don't know if I was supposed to do that or not. That might have been a bad thing. Hey, stop right there. Okay, it was some guy in a bathrobe. Okay, that did not go well. Well, at least we know now where, uh, they're gonna be. So let's just skip all this. Except for the fact I'm gonna put one in each of these guys' heads. And there one between your eyes. Well at least close to between your eyes. Yeah, it is. 
And now they don't have the bullet hook on them. I'm gonna make sure they don't come after me. And this one, yep. We'll take care of that one too. Hey, stop right there. Do I have to go through? Yeah, I do. Alright. Well, we survived those two. I wasn't sure I could shoot him in the head or not. Got him. <laughs> Is that the one that went around the corner too? Yeah, it is. All right, so I've gotten damaged some. I'm gonna make sure that I don't uh, have any of these guys coming after me either. Just to be on the safe side. As I said, I'm pretty sure I'm just. Where was that scream from? Because they're all dead. Oh, this guy's not dead. It, it, it came out of the walls! Okay. I, I said it! No one listened! It's here! What is? I'm not seeing what it is. Or what I'm supposed to do. Because I have sort of murdered everybody. Quit in that guy. Maybe I'm supposed to go back out here now? Oh. Great. Yeah, I think more and more I'm the sniper killer. In sunshine. What in the hell was that? Oh, jeez. Where am I? Well, at least I'm not dead.
Oh, what the fuck? How did I get here? I was taking my nightly stroll and found your face down in the gutter, Mr. Detective. The stress getting to you. You know, I have a remedy for that. No, I, uh, something isn't right. This killer, these murders, the whole goddamn city. Something isn't right. You're telling me? I gotta get back to the station. Gotta put this lunatic away before he kills anyone else. Yeah, that's a good plan. So, I didn't murder a whole bunch of people? Why am I in a coffin? I don't own a couch. That's a fair point. Fair point. I feel like I'm losing my mind here. Alright. Yeah, that, that definitely was, uh... I'm gonna need to start considering some out-of-the-box theories, because this case is making less sense the more the bodies pile up. <laughs> Yeah, we're just not going to look at that board anymore. <laughs> Still cleaning up the tape. All right. They need to hurry the hell up. The shot came from a catwalk outside the factory. See, he talks sometimes, but not other times. It's sort of one of those of, like, wish it would stay consistent. I could have sworn I was right on the killer's heels. Yeah, instead we murdered a whole bunch of people, which hopefully was all some kind of drugged out dream. And then... Things got strange. Yeah, because you are the killer, and uh, you murdered a bunch of people. Can't wait to try and explain this one to the chief. Yeah. Alright, let's put this up here. Where do you want to put that? We're just going to put it right there. Alright. What evidence do we have? One of the guards had some, uh, interesting things to say before he died. Said he saw the killer, but then all he could remember was that he had no face. Like it had been wiped clean. Probably the ramblings of someone on their last breaths. Very true. Very true. Because you, officer, have a face, and I have a feeling... Yeah, we're just, we're gonna try to avoid looking that direction. Why on earth try to make the murder in the alleyway look like an accident? Why did you imagine that there was some guy with a TV on his head and some guy in a bathrobe trying to kill you in a basement? That's a valid question, too. Maybe this homeless guy was the main target. And the guards were just in the wrong place at the wrong time. It just doesn't make sense. The M.O. is similar enough that it's obviously the same guy. But why attempt to do things so drastically different if you're in his shoes? Why even attempt to make one of the murders look like an accident? Because the voices in his head told him to do so, officer. I mean, in your head. I feel like the key to all of this is closer than I realize. Yeah, and it's not on that board over there. I'm fairly certain of that. Okay, and with that, we're going to go ahead and end this episode here. If you enjoyed the episode, please go ahead and click that like button. If you've not already, please subscribe to the channel, click the bell icon, so that you're aware when I produce new videos in the future. Thank you, and I hope to see you all back for more Sniper Killer.